Hey Casa de Garcia, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Christina. Today we went and did a quarantine shopping haul. Yes, we did all the precautions. We went to Costco today just to do our once a month big shopping trip on everything we needed. And then we added a small winkle haul at the end. If this sounds like something you wanna watch, go ahead and continue to watch. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to show some love in the comments. I hope everybody is staying safe and have an amazing rest of your day. And this is my little safety kit when we go out, which is not very often. got two things of salmon. Hubby's been wanting some salmon. 9.99 a pound for some wild sockeye salmon. So this one was $17.08. This one was $13.19. About $30 so we can have some salmon for dinner. The naturally hickory smoked bacon and really good. I love Costco's bacon. This was, I believe it was $10.99. If I say the price is wrong, I don't want to look at the receipt for every little thing. I will do it after I'll include the prices if I say I'm wrong. So Costco normally doesn't even carry the 10 pound bags and red potatoes. So I was super excited that they had them in stock. This was $8 for a 10 pound bag of red potatoes. Some Colgate Total Advanced Whitening. This is a five pack of 6.4 ounces and it was on coupon for $9.99. We got some Pet Armor Max for dogs. It's got six applications and it was on coupon for $19.99 for our pit bull so we could put it on him to help him with fleas and ticks. So two packs of muffins. You get two packs of muffins for $6.99. Gosh, I think it's $6.99. Daddy ate one on the way home. The blueberry one has five and then we got poppy seed and then they have chocolate choices as well but uh, these are the two we got today. I do a lot of baking, four pounds of golden brown sugar for $3.99. Romaine lettuce heads, this is a five pack, and this was $3.99. Dairy gold sour cream, and it is the big one, it's the three pounds, and this was $3.99. And then we use Philadelphia cream cheese for a lot of things besides bagels, and it's the 48 ounce big tub for it's around $8. I will include the price on the bottom because I can't remember off the top of my head. Right now, the two pound of strawberries are $3.99. Garlic, yes, I know I should probably use fresh garlic. We go through a lot of garlic. I make garlic in basically everything. So it's just easier for me. This is 48 ounce jar for, I believe it's $4.99. The Ultimate Fish Sticks. This, these are super good. They're breaded. They're really good. This is a 64 ounce, four pound bag and they were, I believe, $10.99 white delicious mushrooms and it is 24 ounces for $3.99. 64 ounce size of heavy whipping cream by Dairy Gold for $7.99. I love heavy whipping cream. I use this in coffee. I cook a lot with it, especially when I do low carb. Cage free eggs, it's the five dozen. It's are $8.99 for the five dozens. Almond flour. Almond flour is amazing flours. It is a little expensive, but I do use this for low carb keto life. I mainly make like tortillas keto low carb tortillas with these and i also bake with it sometimes when i am into that keto life so the almond flour is 13.99 five pound bag of delicious lemons for 5.99 Two pack of the Kirkland Fabric Softener. Um, each one has 250 sheets. We go through these pretty quick, obviously, because we have a big family and we wash a lot. And I usually stick about five dryer sheets in a big load. And these are $7.99, but they smell really good. We got a box of Swiss chocolate milk. Milk chocolate, the kids love these. And this was $5.99 for 58 ounce mugs. Okay, daddy saw these and he's been wanting to try them. So we went ahead and got a box. They don't look that appealing to me, honestly. But you get 18 large size soft bread sandwiches. You thaw them and you eat them. And these were $9.99. Parchment paper, because I do bake a lot. You know, even when you make like, when you cook anything in the oven on your cookie sheets, it's just way easier cleanup and it avoids it from sticking to your pans. This is a two pack of 205 square feet, 15 inches by 164 feet. I don't know. But either way, it's a lot of parchment paper. These are big boxes and the two I believe were like, it was like $10. Two pack of soft soap, antibacterial soap for our refills. Um, this I believe was on coupon for $5.99. 10 pack, 560 wipes. There's These are the personal wipes, they're flushable. They're single packs with the little open lids and these were $14.99. Wheat thins, I believe were about $9.99, I think. But they're really big bag, it's 40 ounces. Hamburger buns, and you get two of the 12 packs. These are big sesame buns and these are $3.99. 
which is an amazing deal because I think just the six pack or eight pack at like Safeway or whatever, they're like $3.99. And we, we make hamburgers a lot. We make fish sandwiches, chicken sandwiches. So it's an amazing deal for $3.99. Can't go to Costco and not get one of their rotisserie chickens. These are so good and juicy and yummy and they're only $4.99. Oragel toothbrushes, I got these the other day. This wasn't in today's haul, but I'm just gonna include them and these were $9.99. Grab the dog some treats today. They were on coupon for $5.99 and they're beef jerky treats. Really good, he likes these. And it is a 60 ounce bag for, and they're on coupon right now for $5.99. $3.99 for the giant size two pack of the tor corn tortillas. Got some Kirkland Brown Saigon cinnamon and this is a big 10.7 ounce. We use a lot of cinnamon but this is three, I believe it was $3.39 but normally they're about $3.99. We got some ranch seasoning. This is so good to sprinkle on hamburgers, on potatoes, on whatever. Um, sometimes I even make like a cauliflower and heavy um, whipping cream sauce. This is so yummy and this is about $6. We got some, gosh, what do they call these? The Halos, the Clementines. This is a big five pound bag for $5.99. It's organic apple cider vinegar, a three pack for $10. I needed um, some ink for one of my printers. These are the 63XL size. It's a two pack and it was $76.99. That kind of, you know, it's a little bit a lot, but these ones last a long time. So it's a HP two pack. We were out of shampoo and conditioner. We go through it a lot. There's a lot of heads here in this family. So um, we actually had some conditioner left so I got two shampoos their Pantene smell really good. It's orange pill oil and shy butter. Um, I got two shampoos and one conditioner and they are the huge ginormous 38.2 ounces and they were $7.99 each. We got some string cheese. These are so yummy. They're mozzarella string cheese. They have 60 in them and these are $9.99. I ran out of olive oil. This is what I cook with a double pack of olive oil three quart $20.99 we got what's what I hope is a juicy pineapple and this was $3.49 then we got the Mexican blend cheese this is my favorite this is what I cook a lot with these are two and a half pounds each five pounds of total cheese and they cost $14.59 for the double pack I think they went up a little bit because I think they normally run about $13. Still a good deal though. I got these the other day and I love them. They're the Pyrex. They're four sizes of bowls with the lids. They're amazing. I could mix them up. I can store in them and these were on coupon for $10.99. Okay, so we were out of coffee. This is our favorite coffee, what we always buy from Costco and what we really like about these is that they are biodegradable. There's a hundred single servings, but it doesn't have the plastic. I'm always leery of the plastic seeping in our K-cups with our coffee. So yeah, these are amazing. It's an amazing Amazing brands you know they help the community this is a 100 pack French roast coffee for $29.99 okay this is always a request when we go to Costco from the kids it's five pounds of the dino chicken nuggets and these are $12.59 I got a 13 and a half pounds of pure baking soda we do bake a lot and also use it for cleaning stuff and daddy uses it in the garden this is a ginormous bag of baking soda and it's $6.99 two two gallons of the Kirkland we use one percent fat milk and this is $4.89 Honey bunches of oat. These are one of the favorite cereals here and I, I don't like to buy cereal a lot but I don't mind really getting like these ones. Or we do buy the other ones, not as much. But yeah, this is the two box of honey roasted honey uh, bunches of oats, $6.99. All right, we're winding down. The weather is changing. It's still, it's starting to get hot. Even though I sleep with my fan on year round, our cotton, or not our cotton, we have like theme, but it's like thicker than cotton and it's just getting really hot. This was a really good deal. I just wanted some fresh cotton sheets. This is a king size. It's a six piece. So it's got for four pillowcases, the topper, and then the fitted sheet. And it was only $19.99 and it feels soft. It's microfiber. So yeah, this will feel fresh right now as it's getting hotter. They had these really cute down alternative blankets, really soft and fresh filling, king size for $21.99. They start at like $18.99, I believe for queen and then the king and it's reversible and they had a couple colors, but I was feeling the blue one more than like gray and stuff. I just have a lot of gray already and purples in my room and I'm gonna be painting my room. So I just got this one. This one just feels like it's gonna be fresh right now and you couldn't really beat the price on that.
24 pack of washcloths. These are really thick. They're like hospitality kind quality. You get 24. We go through rags and towels and everything a lot. Big family. But $9.99 for a 24 pack of these. And then I got the girls a pack of Skechers Active No Show Liner Socks just because they were on sale. So I just, I always pick stuff up if they're on sale. It's an eight pack for $5.99. And then I just got a pack of socks because they were also on sale for $6. And it has like five white and five black. We are a big family. We're almost out of toilet paper. They didn't have any of the ones we normally get in this brand. So just in case, we do got wipes. We still have a few rolls. So I just got this. They're ginormous sizes. It's six, six rolls, but they're, it's 5,400 feet. They're like the giant rolls. But yeah, I just got a pack just because I don't want to run out. And this was $18.99. Okay, I think we're about done. I got these the other day. I didn't get these today, but I do want to include them just because they're so cute. They're the mason jars. I actually have them on my counter already, but they're empty. <laughs> Nothing lasts in this house for long. Super cute, and they were on sale for $9.99. I should have grabbed two, but it's okay. I don't want, I don't like a lot of clutter on my counters. I believe that concludes our haul. I'm sure I forgot a couple things. We went and spent a lot of money today, but it's our once a month big shopping trip. Look, I look scary right now. I don't really want to be on the camera, but I did want to share because a lot of people always ask me how I shop for my big family. So yeah, stay tuned for part two. I will be doing a Winkle haul. I believe. So we also went to Winko today just to get a few things. I usually like to go there just to get like a little bit more of the meat and also for some more vegetables and fruit so yeah I'll just include this really quickly I didn't get ketchup at uh, Costco because they were actually out um, I do like the garlic bread from we for when we do spaghetti it's some garlic toast and this was the only one they had of the spaghetti sauce yes I used canned spaghetti sauce or jarred actually this is the only one they had that was in a big size so that's what I got I drink sugar-free coffee mate creamer so I had to get my hazelnut my husband really loves this. I usually make fresh guacamole all the time, but this is just like for lunch or like, you know, when we're in a rush, he likes that. He also likes this chili garlic sauce. And then of course I just grabbed some, some bigger apples, some smaller apples, picked up some oranges, some avocados. I want to say these were like 78 cents each. I'm not going to really do the prices. I could just say what I spent at Winko. Grab me some onions, a few jalapenos. Okay, then my husband got a couple of these. These are sweet potatoes. And then I got these um, chiles. Gosh, I can't remember what they're called. I don't know. But I make some chile rellenos with these and I've been craving chile rellenos, so stay tuned for that. I don't really use vegetable oil, but some of my recipes call for vegetable oil and olive oil. I don't know. I just get this for a lot more baking stuff. Roman tomatoes. Costco was out of the frozen cauliflower and broccoli, so my husband grabbed this. Um, some broccoli and some cauliflower. Then we got some bananas, some cilantro. So we mainly go for Winko for things we can't get at Costco, but um, I also will get it at Winko if like they ran out at Costco or they don't have what we wanted. Um, this is for my chile rellenos. It's a two pound bag of Monterey, no, yeah, two pounds of Monterey Jack cheese. My grandson opened these, but I have the Costco salted butter, but I just needed one of the unsalted butter because some of the recipes call for unsalted butter. Rice, I still have my big one that I buy at Costco but I'm like down to that much and I use, I use a lot of rice and every time I go to the store they're out and they actually had this one and this is a 10 pound bag so I went ahead and picked it up. Rice is a huge staple in my house so I can't run out of rice. Just grabbed the kids some pop tarts, some strawberry and some cinnamon roll. Grabbed a box cake because I'm gonna make a peach dump cake so I got some sliced peaches for that as well. I always grab some enchilada sauce. I will make some homemade sometimes but sometimes it's just easier and more practical to use the cans and they're really good. I always get crushed uh, pineapple tidbits because when we order pizza like from Little Caesars they don't have pineapple or they charge you like 150 for like a quarter of this. So I like to have this on hand for when we order pizza from Little Caesars. Got some spaghetti noodles because uh, with spaghetti sauce and the garlic bread and some ground beef. Gonna make some spaghetti. Grabbed a couple of things of some carne asada meat. Um, we usually go to the Torito which is a meat market and that's where I usually get my meat but I also like to have some on hand because I don't you know especially right now we can't go out a lot. Then I got um, a couple of pork steaks and then I got a few bags of boneless skinless chicken breast. They are three pounds and this is usually what I make. I will boil to make like some chicken enchiladas or stuff like that. So yeah this wasn't like a huge 
trip from Winko. And I believe I got everything. Yeah, I believe I spent $140 at Winko and this is mainly what we got there. I will look at the receipt again just to show. That way I can just include it in along with my Costco haul. All right guys, thanks a lot for joining in. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to show some love and give this video a fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Oh my gosh, who else loves a clean and stock refrigerator, pantry, and freezer? The best filling for sure. Also, don't forget to follow my TikTok, Casa de Garcia, and have a blessed rest of your day.